gonna set you guys right here. And I feel like it's a thing. I'm gonna sit in front of my mirror so I can like see myself right here. Um, I want to walk you guys through my range of emotions today. So last, well, starting with last night. <laughs> um, I, going to bed, I laid out my workout clothes and I was so nervous. I told Joel, I said, I feel like I can't even set my alarm. I feel like I just can't do this. Like I'm so nervous to get up and go work out. I have not worked out. I did like some baby yoga things in the house um, like six months ago a few times. Um, so that was technically like my first workout, but this was my first like real workout <laughs> since even before my first surgery. So it's been, I don't even know how long it's been. Joel will put it on the screen how long it's been. And so I was really nervous. Working out has always been something that has been very, very hard for me. Mentally, mentally it is so hard for me. And I cry almost every time. <laughs> so, I, so last night my, my emotions started with severe nerves. It was the biggest blessing from heaven that I just fell right asleep. I was scared that I wouldn't. I knew Joel was tired and I just said, Will you just like touch me? Will you just like have your hand on my back? Will you just like rub my back until I fall asleep? I never asked that of Joel because Joel gets up really early. So um, I made him do that. I fell asleep, which number one was just a huge blessing. And then this morning when my alarm went off, I was furious. And in my head, I just thought, screw this. Like, I don't freaking care. Working out is not worth it. Getting up early is not worth it. I was pissed. And so I was getting up, I got dressed, I was cold. It took me like 10 minutes to get my flipping workout bra on. I was pissed and I was tired. And then I couldn't find my coat. It's flipping cold outside. It was like negative, or no, not negative. It was like 15 degrees outside this morning. I was freezing, I was pissed. I get to the studio and then I'm nervous again because all the girls are lined up. Everyone just like turned over and looked at me. No one smiled. I didn't know who the instructor was. I didn't know what I needed to bring. Everyone had like all their stuff lined out on the mats and I just felt so stupid. And I just went and found my stuff and there was no room for me. <laughs> So everyone was lined up and there was no room and I was so timid and I was just like, um, where should I sit? <laughs> and the teacher was like, um, okay guys, stagger out. Let's make some room. It's the beginning of the year. And that pissed me off. I was like, yes, I know it's super cliche to come to a new workout class at the beginning of the year, but my butt got out of bed this morning and I'm here. So let's just, uh, reserve the judgment. Okay. 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 <laughs> but she was the most wonderful teacher. She, uh, we went through the class and I felt like I was doing pretty good halfway through. I just thought, I don't even know why I'm here. This is so hard. I was so wetting and I look over at the other girls and it's like easy breezy. Um, <laughs> but I was sweating. I was hot. I, I was so nervous that my nose was going to start bleeding because when I get hot, like my nose bleeds. It's it's amazing to be Bonnie Holine. I have the weirdest things. Surprised I didn't wake up with 10 cold sores on my mouth this morning. My nerves, it just shows you how real your nerves are and how your nerves come out in physical form. At least for me. <laughs> At least for me. Okay? Okay. Okay. So then class is over and to this point, may I remind you, I have not cried one time. The instructor came over to me and was like, you did really good. And I immediately started crying and I was like, I haven't worked out in so long. I was like, and your class was really good. I was like, thank you so much for like being a really good instructor. And um, she like gave me the the nicest hug. You know how sometimes like people will hug you and they like don't want to like touch you and they're like, oh. <laughs> um, she like hugged me like chest to chest, sweaty neck to sweaty neck, like 
her face and my hair and ear and I was like, oh, so good. <laughs> like it felt like so good to hug her and to feel that she really meant it. And she was like, go home and drink a lot of water, add some lemon to it, eat a healthy lunch and breakfast with like high protein. And it, and I was, and I told her, I said, that is so encouraging because even though that's so simple and it's like, well, duh, you eat healthy when you're done working out. Nobody wants to do that. And it just felt really good. I said, thank you for that advice. Sometimes people just need to be told that. I said, so thank you. And I was walking to my car and I was happy and I was feeling refreshed and I just thought, I cannot wait to go home and vlog about this because I was so excited. So excited, in fact, that you can tell my mouth is getting tired because I have a little bit of a lisp right now. You can tell it's early, I'm tight, and my mouth is tired. That's funny. <laughs> um, Oh, I got in my car and I was driving home and I was rehearsing what I'm telling you right now. I was going through like out loud, talking out loud in my car and I was so excited to come home and like vlog about it. No joke, so excited to come sit down and vlog about it. And the vlog is at six minutes right now and I think I'm going to leave this vlog at this because I feel like this moment in my life deserves a video. <laughs> um, when I, oh! Oh, sorry, I was about to say, no, I did work out, but that was before my surgery. That was over a year ago, coming on a year and a half ago. Yes, yes, it was definitely a year and a half ago. That's wild. Okay, that was, and <clears throat> when I started work, I had a personal trainer coming to my house for about six months. So two years ago, over two years ago, yeah, so I was right. It's been two years since like a real workout. Okay, it's been about two years since a real workout. In between that time, my trainer had cancer, fought through it, and now is in remission. Hi. I used to hide, not hide, but like I didn't vlog about working out because it was just really hard for me to. I, and maybe it was because I was nervous that I was going to quit. Maybe I was nervous because I wasn't going to lose any weight, and I didn't. I worked out for six months every morning for an hour hard, and I didn't lose any weight. My body tone changed. My The look of me changed, but I didn't lose one pound. I didn't lose one pound. I looked a lot better. I felt a lot better, and I think if I would have continued doing that, I know I would have lost weight, but um, <clears throat> anyway, this feels really good. I hope that I can like keep this up. I think that I will. And the reason that it feels so different is because I've been changing my thought process and my inner health for a while now, for two years now. And my eating has drastically changed and I've kept it that way. Sure, it's been a little less pristine through the holidays, which I think everyone has, but it was different even through the holidays. It wasn't like the whole month of December I splurged. No, on Christmas day, I splurged. The day after I splurged a little less, and then by New Year's it was like, like that week. So it was like a week of not eating well, but even at that I was very aware and conscious of what I was doing, and there was like the intermittent fasting going on. So even at my worst this year, it was nothing compared to my best pr in pr during previous years. So I know that I've been making changes that have been getting better. It's, taking, it's taken me years to get to this point. It really has, and it's such a mental thing, and it's a lifetime of thoughts and bad eating, and, and by lifetime I mean like, the time I moved out, it was like, oh, I get to eat <laughs> Anyway, that's like a whole different thing. But um, I just feel really good. I feel really happy. And making my food changes before my physical changes, and it might be different for some people, but food was a really big hang up for me. It was, I would work out, but I wouldn't change my eating. And I think that if you can change your eating, it's easier to change your physical workout. Um, at least it was for me. And I'm really excited to, um, 
I'm really excited to make a tuna salad. I was thinking about that when I was working out because she was like, go home, drink a lot of water and put some lemon in it or put some like strawberries in it or whatever. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that. And I was thinking about lemons and I was like, ooh, lemon on a salad, ooh, lemon on a tuna salad. <laughs> so I'm going to get a salad, tuna, and lemon. That's what I'm gonna do. And instead of putting like, I usually people put mayo and tuna, I'm going to put, I'm gonna whip up um, avocado and use that as my cream. I'll put my exact um, stuff on Instagram. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it on Instagram for you. So, okay, um, I am going to go shower and carry on with my day. I just wanna let you know that I was thinking about you the whole time and I was thinking of what I wanted to say. I was thinking of, I don't know, just encouraging all of you and just not even by words. Like, I don't even wanna say that. I wanna encourage you. I just wanna show you. I just wanna show you what I'm doing and hopefully it will encourage you. Um, so just know that like, I think about you guys. It's the weirdest thing, I think about you. I don't know you, I don't know exactly who this is going to, but I think about you. Every day when I vlog, I think about what I'm going to tell you. I think about how I'm gonna tell you. It's just fun. This is so fun for me. I truly love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe and I know that these videos are not being notified to all of my subscribers and it makes me really sad. If you feel like you're not being, um, or if, you, if you're not being notified of the video, underneath the subscribe button is a bell. You can click it and it should notify you. So, see you in my next video guys. Bye!